Hello there, everyone. Welcome to my little corner. There's no wrong way to play with paper and, oh, my water's in the, sorry, I have to have water. If you know, you know. I, I talk a lot, my mouth gets dry. <laughs> already starting. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hope you're smiling. All right. So we're doing a through the seasons video and it's time to build another kit because we're in a new season, right? We're in summer. And so every three months, four times a year, we, um, my crafty friends and I, Jeannie Linguini and many others over at the Girl Cave Facebook group, um, Jeanette, do through the season. So what that is, is where we kind of pull a kit together at the beginning of the season. And then me personally, I try to do four layouts a month, 12 layouts during the season, right? With that kit, I'm using what I have. I'm taking my product. I'm not buying anything to do this all year. I'm using the things I have and actually using them. Now the other gals are doing it different. Everyone does it different. There's not a wrong way to do it. And I have them all in the description of this video. So go check out their way because if I'm not inspiring you, I promise that they will. And to me, that's what this community is about. We lift each other up. So check them out, please. And go over to Jeannie's fa Facebook group, um, Crafting in the Girl Cave. She's amazing. That's in the description too. All right, you know me. Everything's in the description. <laughs> Did you get that? All right, so it's summertime. And I honestly, yeah, I just pulled these off my shelf. I just did. We're gonna do all Echo Park for summer. Um, and I've got kind of an outdoor kit. If you've watched me for a, a while, you know I was obsessed with Lumberjack. And I love this, well, I'll pull it out here in a minute. Um, I was obsessed with Lumberjack from Echo Park. I had the Christmas version, I had the little Lumberjack, I had everything with it. And I'm down to quite a few still, but um, I played with it a lot. I'm ready to move on, but I want to try to use these last little bits up. And camping is something that we do in the summer, like everyone else. But in the Montana, like that's the only time you go camping or you freeze to death <laughs> up in them there parts. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to, I have some more camping bonus. I'm gonna try to get a few of those. Now I do use sketches to do this. So what I usually do, the next video for this month will be four layouts with one sketch. Like I'm gonna take the layout and I or the sketch and I'm going to create four different layouts inspired by that one sketch. And I do that through the whole season. So I'm trying to focus on doing that because it's batch scrapbooking. I can get a lot done in a little time. And we'll talk about that in the next video. But so I'm hoping I can use this and maybe I'll break this apart. No, no, no. We'll see what happens and how much we have left. I'll show you this kit. Let's let's just do that. Let's just show this kit. Um, what I have left of it, what I don't. Now, when I'm crafting, I believe I did like a whole series even using these because I remember, what did I do? A whole kit and caboodle using this for Christmas? I think I did. And I even have leftover embellishments from doing that um, series. I made little clusters and all kinds of things um, with it. Looky here, we got some doilies. What else do I got in these bags? I've got some hearts punched out from the paper. Look, I even did some die cuts. There's bears there and some, uh, what is that called? Not an antelope. Um, is it an, no, it's not an antelope. Elk, there we go, that's what it's called. <laughs> an elk, um, I've got all kinds of things. There's some trees, some deer. So I've got all those already, which is exciting. We can use those. Um, as well still and when I do that and it's for this collection I use these papers to create that I mean you'll notice like even the bare die cuts right it's this this paper here the the um, gingham yeah the checker the buffalo check however you want to see it okay so there's that I also it looks like I have some doilies like I said will those fit in there is that why it wasn't in there Jen or yeah totally talking to myself around. I might start answering myself. <laughs> then, then you might want to send help. I don't know. Okay, so I have puffy stickers to go with it. Will those fit in there? Oh, the more that fits in there, the better. Then I've got some embellishments from Swaps. I did not create this. I think, um, uh, I want to say Michelle, Captain Michelle made these. Mm, yes. So um, we've got some elements and I use everything, you guys. Now this month, um, 
we have a lot going on, but yeah, pretty soon I'll be putting layouts together again because I'm kind of resetting and I'm trying to use my product and I'm doing a lot of cluster making and sometimes I just need to switch it up, right? I just need something a little different. Do you guys go through that stage? Like, I really, I, I'm kind of going, but I'm starting to miss making layouts. So it's coming, it'll come back. Um, let's see here. This was by uh, a swap with Donna. Um, here's another swap, um, the great outdoors. I mean, see, it has the Buffalo check. That's probably why I threw it in here. And this one is the six by six pad. I mean, honestly, I, I have a lot. We're going to have some fun with this. Um, I'm not quite sure why this is in here. Eh, maybe it matched really well. So I put it in here. Oh, this is the Christmas one. I, I'm pretty sure I use this for Christmas. Um, but see, here's the thing. I can use the backs. That's why I kept the entire both collections together because just because that one's Christmas, let's look at the back of it. Watch, it's going to make a liar out of me. It's going to be Christmas too. Okay, that one's Christmas too. But if it was a print, I could use that. <laughs> I told you it was going to make me a liar. Okay, so that's the whole idea. And this is really good. These six by sixes are good to make embellishments with your dies and stuff. Then I've got another little bits. This must have been left over from the sticker sheet. I've even got tags that I've cut out from those papers. Um, we've got some more camping and here's some of the scraps. I mean, I just put it all in here because I'm going to use it. I am going to tell you this, no matter how much of this I get used up, um, these will be taken out. I am going to simplify this because it's, it's quite a large, um, it gets bulky on my shelf. I don't, I don't want to say it's a large kit cause I don't feel like I have a ton of it left. I literally bought two Christmas and two little lumberjack. I want to say I bought one other, but I don't remember. They had a few versions of it. So, yeah. And I used, when you think about that, I used a lot. So, here we go. And these are the papers. Beautiful. Could work for outdoor. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This one I think I threw in extra was from a paper pad. But outdoor again. In fact, I know it from paper pads. So it only has one side. Then we've got, see, this was the Let's Lumberjack. That's what it is. Okay, we've got Little Lumberjack and Let's Lumberjack. So there's another wood grain. The feathers, the feathers. Um, this one here, again, adventure. We've got some outdoor. And I just got this Timu die that's going to match that. You best believe you're going to be seeing me use that. Um, we've got some axes, the buffalo check. Um, plaid, however you want to see it, some shiplap, some stars. I mean, this is what I have left of this. You can even fussy cut these. If you didn't have the die like I just talked about, you could fussy cut those. Got all these amazing papers. All right, see, there's that. Oh, we've even got some sticker sheets. Ha <laughs> ha, let's, one of each. Let's lumberjack and little lumberjack. I did use some of these. So we're going to be doing some outdoor layouts this summer for sure. My family, in fact, we're even getting ready to go, but our outdoor um, adventures are changing. I'm not going to be buying a lot of, I mean, we are going to go camping in New Mexico, actually, probably soon, sometime this summer when we can fit it in between band camp, golf lessons, and, you know, life. But <laughs> my husband has to work somewhere in there too. But anyway, but I'm not going to need as much. I lived in Montana for over, oh, I'm 50. Oh, the sadness. I'm, I mean, I'm 50. <laughs> you know what Jill said to me on my birthday in April? She comes out and she saw, happy birthday, mom. And I said, thanks, baby girl. And she goes, you're a half a century old. You're halfway to 100. Great. <laughs> thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Gotta love kids, right? Anyway, my outdoor adventures, I got squirreled. My outdoor adventures are changing. Instead of in the mountains in Montana, every, I mean, I lived in Billings, Montana. It's okay to tell you that now because I don't live there now. I'm 22 hours away. But I lived in Billings, Montana for years. All five of my children were born in Billings. They all loved the snow. Minus one. Junior's like his mama. He doesn't like the snow. Um, and I did that for a lot of reasons. And maybe one day we'll have that little conversation. But um, because I, I, no, I do not like the cold and, um, everything was an hour away, but it was mountains, 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 mountains. Um, Red Lodge, Yellowstone was two hours for me. Like I, I, it was a lot of fun and I have many photos. 
but I'm getting to where I'm almost all caught up on those. So I'm not gonna need a lot more outdoor. Instead, what I was trying to get at in the roundabout cousins, sisters, dogs, aunts, uncle, right? Is my adventures are changing. We're getting ready to go to the ocean over by Corpus Christi. So yeah, I'm gonna need more ocean. Now, yours truly is not going in the ocean. We'll talk about that later too. But yeah, so <laughs> you know, I'm a very, I'm a very climate controlled indoor kind of girl. <laughs> you only knew how funny that is because I grew up on a ranch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, squirrel. So there's that. This will be one of the kits I'm going to be trying to use up and definitely um, make a dent in. And we'll see what happens at the end. Maybe I'll do an extra video for this season and we'll see where I ended up and how I'm going to put um, these away when I put them away. Okay, next. It's almost July. July is all about summer. Actually, this one will be easier. We're going to talk about this one too. Um, I have three papers left in this and I want them gone. I don't want this in my space no more. And I'm not hugely fond of this paper or the B side. Hence the reason they're still left from the collection. It's good day sunshine. I do like this. I do. And somehow, I am going to use this these three papers. I don't know how. I have no desire to buy it again. I used it once. It was just one of those lines that I thought was really cute. It's very summer oriented. I loved it, but I'm going to use up these three and now I will call that an entire collection use. So I'm kind of excited to do that. I might only get one layout out of it, but we'll, we'll see where it goes. So I am going to use that and have that in this season's kit. I tend to have a couple of kits. I, I'm, I don't want to play for three months with the exact same kit. Let's be honest, with the Lumberjack, I probably got enough to do that, but I don't want to. I'll get bored. I, I need stimulation. I need something to keep me excited. Now, I have an abundance of this because every time it went on sale, whether it was a cheap crap, <coughs> pardon me, cheapscrapbook.com or whether it was... Um, Let's see, scrapping for less. Now, even Echo Park's warehouse sales, I bought it. And let me tell you why. This is a beautiful collection and I have a lot of it. I mean, I, I think altogether I have four of these kits, but that's okay. I'm all right. A lot of the 4th of July, and I do have other 4th of July um, lines. This one just, I this paper is divine and I blame Janet Madison because she got me obsessed with this paper. I even bought extras of this paper and you're gonna see why. Okay, so my goal is to use this again, um, pull out some 4th of July pictures and I, I want to do two to four of this. We'll see what happens. I do not care, unlike the Lumberjack collection, I don't care if I use it all. It is going to stay right back. I mean, I have so many of them, I have this type of um, you know, with the curly thing in my bob. <laughs> All these technical words I use, right? <laughs> it has one of these because it needed to be bigger. That's how many papers I have. Okay. So let's just see here. America Echo Park uh, 2020. Love it. Look at this. It's just pretty. I mean, look at this sticker. Now this is God Bless America from Cartabella. If you know, Cartabella is the mothership <laughs> and Echo Park is its child. So this is Mama Bear and this is Baby Bear. That's really what it is. And look, the colors match. It has the wood grain vibes. It's amazing. Um, I have this particular sticker sheet and I might even have some of this line in here. Well, I don't think I do, but we'll have to look. Um, I like the America papers better, but I loved this sticker sheet. I just like the prints better. They're not that different, uh, you know, and I got it cheaper, let's be honest. Cartabella is expensive, worth every dime. It's much thicker paper, but um, where we lived in Billings, we would go to a little town called Laurel, Montana, and they have like the biggest fireworks display show in Montana, amazing, and the fire trucks, and I have so many memories of that with my babies, and I am, 
going to, one of my goals, maybe I'll even do it this time, is to just do a story-based layout. It does not have to have any photos about those memories. My older children, that's what we did. It was our tradition every single year. And this past year, we went back to Montana and we went with my mama. So yeah, Jill and Jason have even gone. My grandbaby Meredith is even go gone. So it's, it's a lot of fun. They do face painting and all kinds of stuff. Now, I warned you, I have several. So I have two of these and I'm just gonna try my best to go through this line. See, isn't that pretty paper? We're just gonna try to flip through them all and make sure you can see them. Stars and more stars, cut apart. I mean, you could fussy cut this, okay? Medallions or mm, rosettes, is that what those are called? We've got banners. We got stars and stripes. We've got more cut aparts. We've got the gingham. This, is this not beautiful paper? Look at that together. Could you not do that combination a million and 12,000 times? Yeah, it's beautiful. Very pretty. That is very pretty. Um, do I have the solids in here? See, I have this paper several times. We need to sort it. We're just gonna sort together. I hope you don't care. When I told you, see, I got a few of them. Um, was that the cut apart? Let's see. It is. This is the one with the stars and stripes. So we're going to organize that as well. We might as well. We're here. Let's do it. Let's see. Um, looks like. Hmm, yep, this goes there. All right. And we got stars. Some more stars. We've got banners. So let's stick that with the banners. I bought this, maybe I got them like 25 cents a piece when they did that. I mean, these make good boy layouts. This could make a good um, New Year's layout. You can do anything you want. Seriously, you, you truly could. All right, I know that was one of the first papers, wasn't it? Let's see here. There it is, right there. We'll put that there. And there we go. Then we've got some more of that one. Put that there. And there we go. And is this a sticker sheet? Oh, look, another sticker sheet. I bet you're shocked. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, did I intertwine them in here? I think I did. Maybe not. What happened to my sticker sheets? Well, we'll set this one aside. Oh, they're on the very bottom flipped over. So yeah, I've got some more of this one. I've got some more of that one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Anybody else sing when they're doing their stuff? Okay, let's see if there's anything in here that we haven't already seen. There is the gingham. Oh, there's a blue star, but you know what? This isn't, I just pulled this in because I like the way it looked with it. Um, another sticker sheet. <laughs> that's four of America. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't see another one that does not belong, okay? So that, that's what I'm gonna be using. Oh, I pulled in a wood grain and a ledger. That'll be in here too. So those are the kits that I'm going to be using for Through the Seasons, AKA Summer Edition. Um, check out everyone else. They're gonna be showing their kits pretty soon and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you will come and join me. And with that, be blessed. Thanks for listening to me, yakety yak. I appreciate you being here. Have a great day. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.